She says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Ooh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. life the sinkhole your foot what you'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound fine two times then the sinkhole and just now hey let me see that leave it it's nothing hey I'm fine come on roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already this is not an admission. Let me see. Uh, uh, it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. About the North Pole? That old fairy tale? Yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it, food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> um. That sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer. You think people actually live like this? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. Huh? There's gotta be another way through. about time. What took you? Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Hey, look at this. What happened to these poor bastards? that bum ankle of yours. <laughs> Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and the <sighs> Hey, over here. Huh? 
This is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. Something my mom used to say. <clears throat> Deadwood! Shoot the damn thing! Nice shooting. Hey, that don't count, by the way. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <clears throat> like this out here you know maybe best we head back we retrace our steps we can find another way out We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo!
Briggs. Who... Who are you? Questions later. We gotta get moving. On three. Still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. <sighs> Rude or thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait. <laughs> From the ward? Shit! <clears throat> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here. But the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. would know they've lost. But they won't go down without a fight.
You okay? Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. Uh, I'm fine, I... Uh, uh, Cass, ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... Uh, uh, we need to get her to uh, work, uh, and quick. <coughs> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo. Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. You don't talk much about life before the ward. Hey, you're the newcomer, ain't you? Nora Camarillo. I keep folks alive around here. You know you're lucky they found you when they did? Your friend was pretty bad. I got her just in time. She's great. A real spitfire, that one. I'd, uh, hang on to her if I were you. Like what? Listen, I don't care what you two are. I'm just saying, don't lose it, whatever it is. That girl's tough, all right. But right now, she needs rest. When she's up and about, I'll make sure you know. See you around, traveler. Looking for Ford? He's over in the warehouse, and sure he's got something going on. Always does. Doc 
Nora fixed my arm once. Said I was real brave. When I grow up, I want to shoot light out of my hands too. Bad. This Clemmer is gonna die. So I need help. I am not good with Paxel take faces. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel take apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel take name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel take faster, stronger, more powerful. They help me defeat his enemies. <laughs> and the prices are quite fair. You must return soon. Well, ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. Ha, <laughs> I'm just pulling you. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Well, seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon you're his problem now. I also make sure folks hereabouts can protect themselves. They ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. I should know. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. It was a doggy dog world back then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, things might be different now, but a lot of folks can't chew a path out of the old ways. Maybe never will. Two shots sent a mass and one to the head. Stop most of your problems. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's fine. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse uh, me. <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. Huh, how about that? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? and some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Huh. <laughs> Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. Ah, uh, Not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to... Marshal my resources, and then we'll get into it in earnest. Anyone in particular? Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Looks can be deceiving. In fact, she's 132 years old. Not quite. Clementine spent a long time 
away. Keeping strange company. Something like that will change you. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13 sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does, and we're damn thankful. All right, Traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. We can discuss this later. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Well, if there isn't a first time for everything. All right, new kid, let me save you some time. I'm McCabe. I like to keep to myself and my work. My work happens to be tinkering and modding weapons. And that's already more information than I like giving out. Understand? <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what, you're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Oh, friend. <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right. But everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. So long. Finished your break yet, Alice? What? I just started. Plus, you got this covered. Hey, traveler. If you're looking for Wallace, he's got a place over at the docks. So many new faces these days. Things must be getting a mite easier out there. Welcome, traveler. I'm Reginald Malone. But my friends call me Reggie. You can too. So you come in with Bo and Clementine there. Oh, you can be sure they'll do everything they can for your friend. Ain't the first to come through here needing help. Ooh, getting right to business. I respect that. Only the best for my friends. Now, if you need supplies, old Reggie's your guy. See you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. 
It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Till next time. now. Uh, sorry, what did you want to say? Oh, I... I, I uh, saw a bird this morning. A seagull. What? Hey, get away from my stew! Oh, it's you. What? No, of course not. Never seen you before in my life. I just figure you're you. You know? And I'm me, and that's... That's where we are. So, what can old Mudtooth do for you, huh? Well, you take care now. be good. Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time, yeah? So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Good. Uh-huh, okay. How's the ward treating you? I could treat you worse if you like. That boy what talks to the root? I don't trust Wally with a hot meal, but I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants.
Oh, traveler. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Ha, yeah. That sounds like Pravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. You know where to find me. The rooter really gone for good. I don't know. Now you look like you could help an old man take on the world. <laughs> you ready to do this? Then let's not waste any more time. This way. Like this. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no. We had to know everything there was to know about. It. it was a matter of national security. Of pride. So, yeah. We opened the door and walk through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, huh. We all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well. This is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Ah, she must have hidden it around here some. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it.
Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Oh, is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what, exactly? to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford? Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. Did it? He actually woke it up. Clementine! Hey! Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? Sister failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! Ah! Don't let go! Clementine? Ford? Oh, shit. Where are you guys? This is so insane. Loot the Crystal Land, Ford. God, I better get moving if I'm gonna find Clementine. A pack so dark. Those foreign to the pound have not been seen upon Yesha for. Long and long. The past once takes me. Or is it now simply part of what I am? It has been so long. The difference hardly matters. But the Paxel attack. How comes it here, to Yesha? The right crystal. I have seen them in my restless slumber. The pestilence think of them often. 
Especially the stones of the Baxutex Earth. I am Bidel of the Vault. When this world was young, the pan did service to the green and growing things. Now, the pan betrays the world. And the world, the wolf, betrays the pan. Those of its kind rarely walk this land. Paxotak, it would seem, come only at times of great change. First, the Krell. Then the one called Ford. Even our god, the one of many, could not stand against the Paxotak. So it says. So said the Ford, now known as the Empress's Bane. The Empress's bane has not been to Yesha in a generation, not since another came to free it. Change, as I said. Yet, to the same generation, I have been trapped here. Eyes open to the foul pestilence, yet blind to the present. <laughs> Who can say what has transpired in that time? Alas, I know it was. Yet there is much to be known. Yesha shrouds many secrets within her embrace. The Ravager, plague of the Pan and defiler of the Doe. The wolf hunts all, yet is itself unhunted. To the shame of all Pan. Once part of the balance, the immortal Ravager has cast aside this world and pledged fealty to the pestilence that would destroy all worlds. And the Red Doe. That which held the Ravager in check for long and long has not been seen in an age. If it seeks to save its own life and world, the Paxotec must hunt the Ravager and end it. The beast is not alone. The lame here have given themselves to it in service. Once servants of the Eternal Empress, many lame here have been seduced by the Ravager's blood-soaked tongue. And thus, betrayed the ban. Beware, Baxotak. They will fight until the beast's final breath. More than it can imagine, Baxotak. May the red door guide it to a mossy glade.
glad that's over. Here they come. me from my ethereal wanderings. New Zar. What kind of beast is this? Hmm. Pat's all tech. I can share my wanderings with you. But first, I seek the knowing, the truth of nature held within your ark. You want to answer? So I will ask. Answer these questions true, sweet beast. So that your ark may be known, and your eye may open. And do choose wisely. Answer from your heart. He that slew your sibling and escaped justice is incapacitated before you. You could slay him then and there, in cold blood. Do you take your vengeance? Or turn the scum over to the authorities from whom he already escaped? Oh. What fun this is! Your vessel sinks at sea, and there is only one skiff. It cannot hold every soul aboard, and now sits dangerously low in the water. The sea becomes rough, and the skiff begins to fill. If nothing is done, it will sink before rescue arrives, and everyone on board will drown. There are a few injured souls who may not survive until rescue reaches you anyway. If you let them drown, the rest of you will likely survive. Do you throw the injured souls overboard, or risk letting the skiff sink? Ooh, how revealing. A handsome and powerful god visits Yesha with the promise to eradicate conflict, disease, 
and all suffering. In return, he demands a sacrifice, the life of a single young Pan. Do you give him what he asks? I see. You lead a small clan of warriors fleeing from the enemy. One of your warriors steps into a trap. He is immobilized and badly injured, and a crystal flare soars into the sky. The enemy descends upon you. The warrior cannot be saved. He begs you not to leave him to the enemy's torture. He begs you to slay him yourself. Do you slay the warrior? Or leave him to whatever fate may hold? Fascinating! It has been prophesied that your son would someday bring about a great calamity. Because of this prophecy, a warlord tried to kill him when he was just an infant. Now that your son is grown, he believes the prophecy to be true. He courageously plans to give himself up to the warlord to save the world from the foretold calamity. Do you allow your son to sacrifice himself? Or stop him in order to save his life? It's not every day a question determines the course of your destiny. Or is it? You have chosen your path, sweet beast. Your heart is true. May the power of the Doe's Eye free you from your incarnate shackles. In the arc of every being, there are two eyes. We may see out of either, but most favor one over the other. The Ravager's eye is dynamic, driven, and endlessly hungry. Yet for all its power, its vision is clouded. The eye of the Ravager rarely sees beyond its own satiation. Like an animal chasing its tail, it knows no rest. The doe's eye sees only what is before it. The gift of the doe is subtle, easily missed. It is a most mysterious presence inside oneself, conferring power without force. Just as the doe itself cannot be sought, nor tracked, nor hunted. By answering true, sweet beast, you give me a wink. And now, the gifts of your dominant eye will be open to you. Hmm. Would you care to hear a tale? It is about those who see as you do. I will tell you of Ramaril, the servant child of the Vaunt. I found Ramaril as a babe. Large and angry as only a hungry babe can be. Nothing became of him as it happened. He grew from a great crying babe to a great quiet pan. He served without word or complaint. None knew his name. For though one might thank the creator of a meal or a washroom, who even considers the child who merely cleans up after? When the Krell came, they laid siege to the temple. None could escape nor call for help. All were doomed. The Doe's eye opened in Ramaril that day. He was no fighter and had no training of any kind. But he lifted the largest shield he could find and told the others to run once he'd made away. He drove dozens of Krell over a cliff and himself with them. Later, his masters came to me seeking to know more of this boy who had saved them, whom I had laid at their doorstep. I told them many stories. One might even consider them true. Is there anything else? Knowledge of me? Of our wonderful world? You stand before Mirdra, spirit of the natural world, daughter of stem and stream. My sisters and I are the glorious weavers of all wild beauty. When mountain, spring, and sturdy tree trunk take your breath, sweet beast, that is us. That is our blessing. An immeasurable number, 
Mother Stem and Mother Stream rely on us to sprawl and grow. Though we don't often commune with beasties such as you. Not in this age. Especially not since what happened to Kaula. A tragedy beast. Tragedy most cruel. Kaula was fascinated by mortals, by your lives and stories. Unlike most of us, she made herself no secret. And you worshipped her with your short lives. Even built her a house. A temple, you called it. The Root found her there. We godlings are not easily unwoven, however. And it slew her not. But perhaps it would be better if it had. For what remains is no longer the sister I knew. But we hold happy thoughts. Regret only wastes one life with another. Is there something else we can talk about? Go with the grace of the doe, sweet beast. Alive. Where's what happened? Yeah, I'll bet if the world stone's involved. Maybe uh start at the beginning. You were with the founder in the old ward, right? Where'd he go? <sighs> I knew the founder was up to something. I mean, who else wants to visit the old ward, huh? Look, uh, I'm sorry you got involved in this traveler. So then what happened? Wait, what? Clementine? Where is she? Is she okay? Right, right, sorry. Uh, Clementine, she... she means a lot... to all of us. We gotta find her. I'll get everybody together. If she went through the World Stone, she... she could be anywhere. Hey, I get that, but she could be anywhere. Do you understand? It's a world stone. It takes you to other worlds. All right. I'll get Brabus and Riggs. I'll tell them to... to... Oh, what the hell am I doing? I don't know what's out there any more than you do. Oh, I, I'd be putting the whole town at risk. And Clem wouldn't want that. Hell, it's a miracle you came back. No. We gotta trust you on this, like you said. Is that... Is that all right? Thanks, Traveler. Talk to the folks around town. They should have any supplies you need. <laughs> you, you know, Ford used to tell me, old Commander Ford, not the Founder, that a leader and a hero are two different things. The leader's place is always with her people. I thought she was just taking a dig at her grandfather for leaving all the time, but I think I'm starting to understand her better now. Hey, let me know as soon as you find Clem, okay? I... We're all worried about her. 